The IPG is diffuse intrinsic pontine glioma uh, and it represents the most aggressive and lethal form of primary brain tumour of the central nervous system. It's a tumour that uh, almost always is diagnosed in younger children uh, with a median age of diagnosis of about six and it affects the glial cells of the brain stem cutting off the signals that are transmitted from the brain to vital organs. In Australia, the IPG is diagnosed in about 15 to 20 kids each year. In the United States, diagnosis is seen in about 200 to 300 kids. So we think globally, uh, approximately uh, 6,000 kids are diagnosed with the IPG each year. Most of the research that's been done in DIBG have focused on the genetics of DIBG and these landmark publications have really provided us with the means to investigate how DIBG cells grow. Our research is trying to look uh, at DIBG in a different light. We investigate how the physical architecture of the cell communicates and what we can do is we can dissect out how those signals are passed on so that we can provide patients with bona fide drug targets that have more potential to work. So in February 2018, my daughter Josephine was diagnosed with DIPG. Molecular analysis revealed that her tumour harboured a number of mutations that led to the overactivation of PI3 kinase. PI3 kinase is one of the most mutated or overactivated genes in cancer, um, but notoriously, uh, therapies targeting this pathway have failed patients. Most trials don't even make it to phase three. Uh, GDC0084 is one of the most potent PI3 kinase inhibitors around. And the nice thing about GDC0084 is it's, it has the potential to cross the blood-brain barrier. Now this is really important when we're trying to treat a brain stem cancer. Getting drugs to the site is one of the biggest challenges facing kids with DIPG. So when, once I found a drug that was in trials for other forms of brain cancer, other forms of high-grade brain cancer such as glioblastoma, uh, I wrote to the company and asked whether I could test GDC in models of DIPG. But with all targeted therapies, how long it works for is unknown, and this is only in preclinical models.